I'm going to show you how to use the meat shelf and the erect pack system. So we've been out for a hunt this morning, we've had a bit of luck. Uh, we've been chilling our meat down as best as possible under some bushes. It's starting to warm up now, so it's time to pack up and uh, head for home. Got the two back legs off the red deer I shot this morning. I'm going to show you how to load it into the pack for the most comfortable carry out. The first thing we've got to do is get the bag off the frame. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we're going to undo our, our top load lifters. This is our top load lifter. We're going to feed that webbing all the way through. Then we're going to unclip our side compression straps. We're then going to move on and undo our side stabilisation straps. And then we're going to loosen our lower compression straps. And finally, we've got this last little clip here that's uh, quite important and a little bit tricky to get to. So now that we've got all our straps loosened off or unbuckled, we're going to lie the pack on its front. And then we're simply going to slide the frame down and out of the pockets at the top here. Flip it over onto its straps. Now the two reasons we want to run a system like this is one, it allows us an expandable volume. Two, it lets us control where we put the heavy part of our load, in our case the meat. We want the heaviest part of our load as close to the frame and in turn as close to our spine as possible. The adjustable load shelf lets us control where that load is in relation to our spine. It cinches the load down nice and tight so it's not wobbling around. If you throw any old chunk of meat in the bottom of a pack, it wobbles and sways and does all sorts of crazy things. Firstly, we want to loosen off these top adjusters on our load shelf. We're going to flick our secondary load lifter straps out of the way. So now we're going to load our meat on the frame sheet here. We want our load as evenly distributed across the frame sheet as possible. We don't want all the weight down here and we don't want all the weight up too high above our shoulders. Because of the shape of the deer legs, I'm going to top and tail them to try and get it as evenly distributed as possible. Bring our load shelf up over the top here and cinch these uh, top straps down. We don't need to do these too tight, we just want them firm. So we just want to go around and make sure we can locate all our buckles that we've undone earlier. Make sure they're all in the right place. Then we're going to pick the bag up and put it down on top of our load. So now we're going to start by tightening up our bottom compression straps. Then we're going to go around and do up all our buckles and tighten these down. Last straps we've got to do up from our frame back to the buckles on our bag. And from our straps to our load lifter buckles on the frame. The last thing we've got to do is get it on our backs and get up off the ground without breaking their backs. 
The easiest way is to wiggle into your harness. The pack's still on the ground. And then roll forward onto all fours and stand up. Now we're going to do up our waist back, waist back band. Cinch that up nice and tight. Make sure our shoulder straps are nice and comfy. And finally, just tension up our load lifters here. And lastly, we're going to tighten up our side stabilizers. We're good to go. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky to get up off your feet like I did when you've got a rifle in the scabbard. So if you're lucky enough to have a mate with you, it's best to give it to them to do it for you once you're up on your feet. Here you go, mate. You will have noticed I'm using a breathable game bag. Now this is really important for a backpack system like this. When your meat's exposed to the air, you want to use a game bag to keep the flies and the muck and the dirt off it. And on your pack out, you want to give your meat an opportunity to cool down further and breathe a little bit. Alright, we're all loaded up. It's time to get back to the ute.